1 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Asma Hafiz. First, the headlines. Sindh Governor has approved the name of Justice Retired Makbul Bakir as caretaker Chief Minister of Sindh. Kashmiris on both sides of the line of control and the world over are observing the Independence Day of India as Black Day today. Danish Foreign Minister has apologized for desecration of Holy Quran in Copenhagen. In Russia, at least 30 people have been killed in a fire incident in the Dagestan region. And now the news in detail. Sindh Governor Kamran Khan Tesuri has approved the name of Justice Retired Makbul Bakir as caretaker Chief Minister of Sindh. A notification has been issued in this regard. The approval was given on the recommendation of Sindh Chief Minister Sayyid Murad Ali Shah, who sent the name to Governor last night. President Dr. Arif Alvi has conferred civil awards on 696 Pakistani citizens as foreign nationals for showing excellence and courage in their respective fields. He conferred these awards on the occasion of 76th Independence Anniversary of Pakistan and the investiture ceremony of these awards will take place on 23rd March next year. Pakistani and Russian flags were digitally displayed on three high-rise buildings in Arbat Street in heart of Moscow to mark the 76th Independence Anniversary of Pakistan. The three buildings are close to Red Square and designed in the shape of a book. The city government of Moscow and Pakistani embassy in Russia took the initiative for displaying the Pakistani and Russian flags to reflect the close ties between the two countries. Astronaut of the United Arab Emirates, Sultan Al Niyadi, joined in Pakistan's Independence Day celebrations from 400 kilometers above Earth and felicitated the Pakistani nation. Sultan Al Niyadi shared on Twitter a picture of Pakistan's capital, Islamabad, taken from the International Space Station. In his tweet, he said, Happy Independence Day to all Pakistanis, especially those living in the UAE. Pakistan's ambassador to the United States, Masood Khan, has conferred the President's Pride of Performance Medal on Grammy Award winner Uruj Aftab. Uruj Aftab is an internationally recognized Pakistani-American vocalist, music composer, and producer. She was the first Pakistani woman to ever win a Grammy in 2022, a major annual American Entertainment Award. Kashmiris on both sides of the line of control and the world over are observing the Indian Independence Day today as Black Day to register a protest against New Delhi's forcible and illegal occupation of their motherland. There is a complete shutdown in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, call for which has been given by the All Parties Europe Conference and supported by all Uriyat leaders and organizations. Black flags have been hoisted everywhere while protest rallies are being organized against the gross human rights violations by Indian troops in the territory. The Kashmiris across the world will also hold anti-India demonstrations to draw world's attention towards Indian brutalities in the occupied territory. All parties with Conference AJK chapter organized a protest demonstration in Islamabad today to condemn the Indian atrocities in illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The participants raised full-throated slogans in support of Kashmiri people and against the Indian suppression. Speaking on the occasion, APHC AJK convener Mohammad Ahmad Sagar said the Kashmiri people should be given the right to self-determination as was promised to them in the UN Security Council resolutions. Danish Foreign Minister has expressed regrets and apologies for desecration of Holy Quran in Copenhagen. Talking to his Algerian counterpart, Ahmad Ataf, the Danish foreign minister said Danish government will finalize the text of a bill that would put an end to such practices and will be submitted to the Danish parliament for deliberation in four weeks. Israeli forces martyred two Palestinians in raid on a refugee camp in Jericho city of occupied West Bank today. Hospital officials said the Israeli forces raid continued for an hour during which several people were also injured. And that's all from the newsroom. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link 
facebook.com/radiopakistan news official